Hey everyone, this is Valentin from musicgreatness.com and in today's lesson we are going to learn Need Somebody to Love. And it sounds just like this. Alright guys, so we are in the key of E flat major. So we have B, E and A flat. Here are the chords. We start on an E flat major 7. So we are on the first degree, playing E flat, B flat on the left and D, G on the right. Then we'll play this B major 7 chord. So we have B, F sharp, A sharp and D sharp. Then we'll play G sharp minor 7. So on the left hand we'll play G sharp and D sharp and on the right we'll play F sharp and B. Then we take all the notes one whole step above and that gives us an B flat minor 7 chord, so we have B flat F on the left and A flat D flat on the right. Then following this chord we'll play D flat major 7. So we have D flat A flat on the left and C F on the right. And then we take all the notes up one half step. And that gives us a D major 7 chord. D, A, C sharp, F sharp, just like this. Very nice. Now let's recap the chords together. All right, so we start on E flat major seven. Then we play B major seven. Into G sharp minor seven. Then we go up one whole step giving us this B flat minor 7 and then we go and play this D flat major 7 chord and we take all the notes up one half step and we finish on this D major 7 chord very nice okay so now let's break down the verse we start by playing the E flat major 7 like this 1 2 3 4 into the B major 7 one, two, three, four into the G sharp minor seven. One, two, three, four, then B flat minor seven. One, two, and here on the third beat we'll play D flat major seven into D major seven and back on the next measure on E flat major seven. So it goes da da da. It's just a chromatic thing. We go from here, we take all the notes up one half step, and again one half step. Okay, so let's try from the top. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Very nice, guys. From here, we'll do the same, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and on the third beat, we'll change a little bit, we'll play this. So we have the same chord structure, but we don't play the same way. On the D flat major 7, we'll play instead of playing this. So we arpeggiate up the notes and we repeat the C, like this. Then we'll play just the right hand and an A on the left hand, so without the bass. 
and we end on the E flat major 7. Okay, so let's go again and play this part. 3, 4. Very nice. From here, we'll keep going and do the same. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Here on the third beat, we'll play this. So, three, four, one. Three, four, one. So now let's break down the last section. It goes like this. So on the E flat major seven, we'll arpeggiate the note up. Then we go down, D, B flat, and we play a B flat on top. Then on the B major seven, we'll play this. So the right hand, we'll play this B, D sharp, F sharp. A sharp structure. So at the start we play B, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and we go down to the B. So from the E flat major seven it goes like this: three, four. Very nice. Then on the G sharp minor seven we'll do the same. So here, we highlight the notes of the G-sharp minor 7, but we'll add a D-sharp on top, and we'll arpeggiate the notes the same way. And we'll end on F-sharp on top. Then we'll play B-flat minor 7 the same way. So we add an F on top. And then we'll play this. So here on the D flat major 7 we play just this. Then what we would play on D major 7 will just be an F sharp this time. And we end on E flat major 7. Okay. So, from here, we'll play this. So, same, we arpeggiate up, then down on the D, and we finish on F this time. Then we'll play on the B major 7, we'll play this. So, here we have B, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp, F sharp. Then we go down, and we'll play an, a G sharp. And then we'll play the last three chords like this. More like the last four chords. So on the G sharp minor seven, we'll play an arpeggio like this. Then we'll repeat all the notes except the bass. So it goes two, three, four. Then we do the same on B flat minor seven. So we play twice, and then we play this. So this is D flat major seven, but we add an A flat, which is the fifth of the chord, and we take all the notes up one half step. So it goes. Alright guys, so that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you want to see more, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching, and if you've liked the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.
See you in the next lesson.